Uh, greetings to all my fellow watch enthusiasts on YouTube and Facebook and wherever else this video is being shown and seen and shared. It's Celine Driver again. I uh, got another uh, watch review for you. Another one of those um, high-end watches um, that I've managed to uh, get a hold of. And uh, this one is unusual. Uh, the, 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 the origin of the watch is unusual. Uh, the watch case, which you can see here, uh, it's actually supposed to be up like this, but you know, you can't see it very well. Uh, the watch case itself is unusual. The name is unusual. Uh, and the watch itself is something different and somewhat rare. Um, Anytime this company makes a watch, and they've made several different um, watches, if you go to their website, um, they only make 10 of them. You know, well, some more maybe, but always very low numbers. Um, and this watch uh, is one of 10. Uh, says so right on the watch itself, actually. Um, this watch is from a company called uh, Sarpaniva. I believe I'm pronouncing that right. That's the way I've always pronounced it. And the watch dealer that it came from uh, and uh, the repair place when it needed a little uh, adjusting, um, they told me it was uh, Sarpaniva. So, Sarpaniva. Okay. Uh, solid wood. Smells nice too. Smells like wood. Um, but very unusual case, as you could see, but we didn't come here to see the case. So you, the lock kind of just folds over itself with a little cam thingy into the other cam thingy. So unlocking it, uh, allows you to unhinge the case and there very simply done. Oh, and the uh, warranty card is up here. Well, certificate of authorization anyway, but uh, same is same. That fits up in there. No instruction book since there really isn't one needed. And uh, what you've got is this guy. Very unusual watch. Little foam thing that can go back there like that. Uh, very unusual watch. Let's unfold this here. But in my opinion, one of the most beautiful watches I've ever uh, reviewed or got to play with. Very simple. It's a two-hander. There's no sweep second hand going on. Uh, but uh, just look at that blue watch face and the way the light plays with it. Just gorgeous. And if you haven't figured it out yet, it's a moon phase watch. That's its only complication. There's no date function on here. It's just two-hander and the moon phase. Stars in the background. The stars actually form constellations. I believe that's the uh, Big Dipper right there. Um, other constellations are scattered around. The, the whole background rotates with the moon phase. So... Um, and on the back, you don't get to see too much of the movement, but if you look at that gorgeous decoration and that automatic rotor, it's not a rotor, it's the whole back of the um, whole cage back there is, a, is the uh, automatic winder. And another moon there. I'll, 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 there's something... Um, different about it. there's something uh unique about this this face i'll get to that in a second and you can see it's one of the 10 handmade and it's model name northern stars it's actually called the northern stars k3 very nice beautiful polish on this watch unsigned crown but uh then again 
the band is a Sarpaneva band. It is the original band. It is, uh, I can't find out if this is alligator or leather with an alligator pattern. Uh, my, my research has led me to believe this is an alligator band. So I'm going to go with that unless I find something uh, to say it isn't. Now, when the moon is in full moon, the face here or here, depending on where, uh, the face will be fully enclosed in this circle right here at the six o'clock. So right now, in, in, where, where I'm at right now is at a new moon um, part of the moon phase. And I think moon full moon for this month is the 22nd of March. Might be off by a day or two. So by the time the 22nd of March rolls around, this face will be fully ensconced inside that circle. So... What do we got here? Let's go over some of my handwritten notes. As I said, this is a Sarpaneva. That is the name of the, that is the last name of the founder of the company. And it's also the name of the watch company itself. It says so right there at the three o'clock, which you can barely see. It is a Northern Stars K3. Uh, it is one of 10 that were made in this particular style. Uh, if you go to Sarpaneva's website, you will see that they are quite prolific with different styles, colors, <coughs> pardon me, um, and uh, other such um, models, but uh, usually very low numbers on the, um, on the models. Uh, it is a 42 millimeter diameter case. It is a scant 10 millimeters in thickness. Uh, I forgot to measure the um, lug width, but it looks like a 22 to me, so I'll go with that. It is a 50 meter water resistant, so good to get wet in the rain. Might get away with going swimming with it, but I wouldn't take it underwater for very long. It is not a screw down crown, so it is not safe. Uh, sapphire crystals, front and back, they are flat crystals, as you can see. Uh, stainless steel case, in this case, they do make this also in a, I believe, in a rose gold and a white gold. Uh, the moon faces on the front and back are white gold. They are 18 karat white gold moons. Uh, the face of the moon, I uh, wanted to get to that. In particular, the face of the moon is supposed to be a a uh, likeness of Stepan, and it, that is uh, how it's pronounced: S T E P A N. Stepan Sarpaneva's face with a stern, quote unquote, look. So, uh, if you want to know what Stepan Sarpaneva looks like when he's stern, this is uh, supposed to be that. I don't know if he's having us on with this or if it's true, but uh, you know, whatever. It is a modified, uh, if I pronounce this right, Soprod A10 caliber movement, 25 joules, 42 hour power reserve. Um, I have, I, I know, uh, not I, but... I know that the um, the owner of this watch did have a big problem with this with this watch. Had to send it via a shop in Boca Raton. Uh, it had to go back to Finland, which is the point of origin for this watch. This is a Finnish watch. Finnish, F-I-N-N-I-S-H, Finnish, from the country of Finland which I think in and of itself is very unusual. I don't know how many Finnish watchmakers there are out there, but there's at least one. The movement uh, in this watch tends to be a bit fragile from what I've been able to find out. If you, if you muck about with it, it will all of a sudden disconnect itself from the crown stem, and you will just crank this thing to high holy hell 
and it will not do a damn thing. It won't set. It won't move the moons. Uh, it won't wind. It will just sit there and spin. So it had to go back to Finland. Three months later, it came back. A week later, it failed again. <laughs> and it had to go back to Finland again. The second time, of course, was obviously not chargeable. But uh, uh, that's the story of this particular watch. Ever since that time, which has been two years now, uh, the watch has, according to the owner, performed flawlessly. Uh, there, there are no pushers on the uh, on the side or back. The crown sets the um, sets the moon phase movement and also sets the time. You pull it out for two clicks for um, time set. Uh, I honestly don't want to play with the uh, the moon phase because the last time I did that on one of these videos, it came back to bite me. By the way, that was the DeWitt. Uh, I, I, off camera, I did manage to work the pusher to such an extent that it reset the moon phase very nicely within a couple of minutes of me stopping the video. So no worries there, but I don't want to repeat history. I just love the way that this face plays with the light and and uh, shines and sparkles the little stars on the on the blue field and it's just a gorgeous gorgeous watch it doesn't weigh very much it, it, it's extremely comfortable on the wrist I will put it on for you so that you see that Try not to struggle too much and look like a damn fool, but there you go. And that's what it looks like on my seven and a quarter inch, I believe, seven and a quarter inch wrist. As we all know, I like to wear my watches a little high. I don't like them down here with the crown going right in this little crook. That always bothers me. So that's where I wear my watch. And as you can see, if you look down my forearm, the lugs are very short. They fall beautifully at the edges of my wrist, putting the watch smack dab in the middle, and it wears very comfortably. Um, they could just stare at that thing for hours. It's just, it's just a beautiful watch. It's one of the prettiest watches I've ever uh, put on. And uh, very happy that... Uh, the owner let me play with it for a few days. Unfortunately, it will have to go back at some point. So, um, on that semi-happy note, I'm going to leave the video there. Yeah, look at, look at the, I mean, this is just in in a room in my house with a, you know, just a light over here. It's uh, up in that direction. And, you know, even that light just captures it so nicely. Anyway. So, if you liked the video, um, I'd love it if you gave me a thumbs up. Comments, suggestions, questions down below there. Uh, I answer everyone. Uh, all I ask is that you keep it clean and don't be a jerk. You know, jerk or nasty, uh, you're deleted, you're blocked, and I don't answer your question. And nobody else will know your brilliance either because that message will go away. Uh, if you have not subscribed yet, uh, please click the subscribe button there and click the little bell icon so that when I post new content, you'll be alerted. Um, when I made this video, I believe I was right at 450 subscribers. I uh, would love to get to 500 uh, real soon and then maybe 1,000 by the end of uh, 2019 when I'm shooting this. Uh, it, it doesn't matter if I have one more or 10,000 more. I really appreciate all of you subscribing. I really appreciate you uh, contributing to the channel and enjoying uh, the watches uh, with me. Uh, so I thank you and uh, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.